Growing up polite, what helped you to adapt to the gruffness of New York? <laughs> this is from Hannah. I love how like Hannah's just like, you're polite. <laughs> and you were always polite. How do you know I was polite growing up? You don't know me, Hannah. I, I could have been a badass. <laughs> All right, your house, containing everything you own, catches fire. <laughs> After saving your loved ones and pets, you know I don't have pets. <laughs> you have time to safely make a final dash to save any one item. What would it be and why? This is from Nicole. What's your item? What's yours? My iPhone. Your iPhone? <laughs> Before the loved ones? Like you ditch him, you're just like, where's my iPhone X? <laughs> what if he was blocking it? <laughs> you push him into the flames. No, 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 don't, don't. Commit, commit. Be like, I push you in the flames. You're like, I don't have Apple Care. You gotta go. <laughs> it doesn't cover fires. And you, you, you box his ass out. You go boom, and he goes into the flames. He's like, why were you doing this? <laughs> I do my Skechers shape ups. <laughs> <laughs> The way you were like, oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> you know what would suck? What would end up happening is you grab the first thing you see. And so, like, I'd probably run back. It would suck. It would be like a Wall Street Journal from four days ago. <laughs> like, I got to get something. Oh, like, the Wall Street Journal from last Thursday. <laughs> or, like, you go, you go, like, you grab DVDs. You're like, I got two copies of Fight Club. Why? <laughs> Why don't I have an extra copy? What would you, what would you say? You know, it's like Passport? Passport? You're that pragmatic? <laughs> You're like, real talk, the first thing I would do, all my taxes for the last five years, that's what I would get. No, but you wouldn't do it. Like, we're saying it now while it's air conditioned and everything's temperate. I know what my passport is exactly. I believe you. You get your passport. <laughs> were you like, I, I got it because of this? Yeah, man. My name's Luis. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Yeah, you got to. <laughs> Shit is real right now, Luis. <laughs> is movie theater popcorn the biggest boondoggle you've paid for? <laughs> you think movie theater popcorn is overrated? No. Yeah. Yes. No. Do, you still, do you still get it? No. Really? You've completely opted out? Nachos. Nachos? <laughs> Dude, you're... Cr with jalapenos, that's actually really good, yeah. <laughs> are, you a, are you a complete psychopath? Do you do hot dogs? <laughs> You don't do hot dogs at the movie theater. Don't tell me you do hot dogs at the movie theater. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, popcorn's super expensive. Yeah. But I do get it. Yeah. I wolf it down. <laughs> but it is a boondoggle. It's very expensive. Also, why is it $7 for a small, but then $7.25 for a medium? <laughs> That's not right. That's not right. Jenny, do you do popcorn every meal? I mean, not meal. Do you do popcorn <laughs> every movie? Lunch. Breakfast, lunch. You hit all three? Do you get it? No. 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 I'm Indian. No, I bring my own snacks. True. <laughs> True. But now, but don't you feel like when we become adults, do you, do you you're like, I'm gonna pay with. Listen, the immigrant mentality. It doesn't go. You don't lose it. It doesn't ever go away. My mom would kill me. Really? So what do you sneak in? My mom would be like, Wait, no, why are you paying for the popcorn? When you could make it at home and sneak it in. <laughs> Wait, no, I'll make the popcorn. You can just put it in the. Fridge. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you bring in? Really? Yeah, so it's like super, like this, the, <laughs> you hit him with chutney too? You got sauce too? <laughs> How do you do the sauce in the dark? I respect that, but that's like a lot of. No, no, not chakri. What's chakri? Oh, oh, you're talking about like the stuff that's, that's Cheetos for Indian people, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I eat, like the problem is when I do get it, I eat it so fast, like by the time previews are done, it's over. And it's supposed to last you the whole movie, so. Will the looming recession be worse than the last. Nicole. All right. Man, you guys like, you guys really think I, I have all the answers here. This is another Nicole. Which Nicole is this? Is it a different Nicole? Damn, you're, you're gonna miss out on all this great financial advice. You know what always terrifies me about the, about like just the news headlines that you read? It's always about the impending doom. That's what makes me always sort of like just get scared. I'm like, just tell me what's gonna happen. It's like stock market growth slows. Impending recession about to happen. What are you gonna do? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. When is it gonna happen? It's always the shitty thing that's about to happen that I'm scared about. 
They, they would, that's what they want us to believe? Are you the aliens dude? There was the aliens dude who came to one of the tapings. What, do you know something I don't, do, like, are you like, do you work at the Fed or something like that? What do you think? Do you think it's not gonna happen? Wow, that's like super zen. <laughs> is, that, is that honestly your attitude? You're like, it's just out of your hands to just... <laughs> Bro, why'd you, you came in, it was like this, this like profound wisdom, it came from the back of the room with like an Indian accent, so it was like, maybe he's a guru, maybe he knows. Did you see the way everyone listened, everyone leaned in, where they're like, he's a financial expert. You can't flip flop out, you guys should have committed the whole way through. You wanna know why it's, it's, it's panic inducing, especially for our generation? We know when everything is coming. Like Uber, Prime Now, Seamless, right? We'll be like, where is Gustavo? He was supposed to be here six minutes ago. Like we get so mad. Now we don't know, that's the, that's the thing. It's like, it could happen, it's going to happen, but we just don't know when. Don't stress out. Sure. <laughs> 10 years from now, what would you like to be remembered about you? Wait. Wait, like, do you guys know something I don't know? This is, I'd like to be alive, like, what? <laughs> when you die, what do you want people to, it'll happen within the next 10 years. Sometime between now and the recession, you will die. So how would you like to be remembered? You guys, were you guys keep up with what was going on at the G7? Um, so this is the question, if G7 countries pledged 22 million to stop Amazon fires, do you think they could have put up more money? Yes! <laughs> That's not a lot! They only put up 20 mil, this is like the seven wealthiest countries in the world, and they're just like, yeah, it's 20 mil. That's like a day of work for Jeff Bezos. You know who should pay for the Amazon fires? Amazon. <laughs> That's my thing, I'm like, think about, think about all the boxes. At, at some point in the supply chain, that came from the Amazon rainforest. Do you guys know, can, do you know what's fucked up, Eddie? I just think it's really messed up that they still call the tablets Amazon Fire. <laughs> That's wrong. It's just like, babe, have you seen my Amazon Fire? You're like, too soon. Just, all I'm saying is this, to any company out there, you gotta play it safe. You cannot name your product after a disaster. You cannot have the Kia Tsunami. Like, it's not an option. Leo pledged five million, you guys know that? Leonardo DiCaprio, who? Leonardo, the Leo. Leonardo DiCaprio pledged five million dollars to the Amazon fires. Yeah. So all he has to do is just get three other super big Hollywood superstars to put up the money and they'll have matched the G7. So what I'm trying to say is Ray Romano, step up right now. Match that five mil. Match that five mil, Ray. Jason Statham, you got it. Mel Gibson, you owe people. If your daughter asks for a dog when she is older, what will you say? You'll like, you'll like this response. The best pets are books. Indian dad, son! Nah. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Did I, did I make you proud? There it is. All right. Thank you guys so much. This was so fun. Good night.